the savior of the world And now we can call him friend God sent his son He's the savior of the world And now we can call him friend Hello, mga bata! Hi, children! Last Sunday, we learned about Jesus and His miracles. Today, we will learn about an interesting topic about what Jesus has done for us. Oh, Kuya Al, what are you holding? Hulaan nyo, mga bata! Ano ito? Tama, ito ay itlog. Bakit naging black na ito? Kasi sinulatan ko ng lahat ng kasalanan ko. Andito yung late... Sumagot sa magulang, malakit, uh, manghusga ng tao, magnakaw, pagtanim ng sama ng loob, at marami pang iba. Ito, kung itlog na ito, nire-remind ako kung ano ang ginawa sa akin ni Jesus. Namatay si Jesus para sa atin, di niya tayo iniiwan. Marami tayong ganito ang nangyari sa ating buhay. Ikaw ba, naranasan mo ba maging ganito ang iyong buhay na maraming sulat na naging itim na? Jesus died on the cross for you and if you believe in Jesus and tell Him you are sorry for your sin, then He can take away your sin tulad ng pagtanggal ko dito. Wow! Nakita niyo naman kung gano'ng kalinis na ito. Ganito ang mangyayari sa atin kapag nasa atin si Jesus Christ sa buhay natin. Yung ating maruming kasalanan magiging ganito. At ikaw naman, Teacher Leah, ano yung hawak mo? Look, I have this nice white sheet of paper. It's so fresh and clean. You know, when God first made the world, He hoped it would be fresh and clean like this. However, something bad happened because sin entered the world. Do you know what sin is? Sins are the bad things that we do when we disobey God. Sometimes we don't listen to our parents or our teachers or we do things we know we shouldn't do. That's all sin. And sin makes God sad. He knows it is not good for our lives or our relationship with Him. So it's sort of like this pretty paper got messed up. Oh, look here! It's already messed up! But wait! I have something that might help! Look! Look at this pretty eraser, pink eraser! It's lovely! It's fresh and clean! Maybe the eraser can help get rid of all these marks! Hey! It looks like the white is showing through again, isn't it? But uh-oh, the paper is getting white now. But look at the erasers. 
Now, the pink eraser is getting dirty. You know, this is kind of like what happens when we let Jesus take over our lives. We start out all messy and full of sins. But when Jesus came to earth, He was willing to take on all of the bad stuff. He made Himself the one who was punished for the bad things we do. He took all the gray mess and made it His. The goodness is that when we did that, He took away our sins. He got rid of the mess and scribbles so that we could be fresh and clean again. When we realize that, God allows us to live new lives and to one day live in heaven with Him. Ang ganda ng ginawa ni Jesus sa atin. He died on the cross to forgive us from our sins, to save our soul from death and give us eternal life. We still have one story for you. It's a salvation story from Dot and Bouncy. Please watch this, sit down, listen carefully, and open your heart to Jesus. What's up, Bouncy? Hey, Dot. I see you're reading the Bible. The Bible? Yeah, you know, the big book that tells us about God, how He made everything, how much He loves us, how He wants us to live, and just how awesome He is. Well, I'm trying to read it. But there's some stuff in here that I just don't get. Like what? Well, this says that everyone sins. And I don't think that I've sinned. Do you know what sin means? You know, like being a robber or something. But I'm not a bad guy. Sin means disobeying God. Have you ever lied? Well, sometimes. What about sneaking around to get away with something your parents said not to do? Well, everyone does that. That's no big deal. That's sin. That's disobeying God. And yes, everyone has done it. But the Bible says that the punishment for sin is death. I thought God was a good guy. That doesn't seem too fair. God is the good guy. He's perfect. And he's fair. So he has to punish sin. Well, can't I just be extra good for the rest of my life to make up for all the bad stuff I've done? Didn't you read the good news part of the Bible? No. What's the good news? Jesus. Jesus? God sent His Son Jesus to earth to take your punishment for you. He's the only person who never sinned. Not even once? Nope. He was perfect, just like God. So when He died on the cross, He took the punishment for all the sin in the world. Jesus can erase your sin forever. Dying on a cross? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, let me start over. God loves us. He wants to be our friend. But sin messes up our relationship with God. So God did something to get rid of sin. He let Jesus die in our place. The cross made a way for us to be friends with God. So what do you mean by cross? That's how Jesus died. People nailed his hands and feet to a big wooden cross and left him there until he died. A uh, dot, I'm just a kid. And that's gross and kind of scary, really. Well, that's how it happened. Because of the cross, we can be right with God. Whew, so I'm all good then? Well, you have to choose to live your life for Jesus now. A uh, dot. Yes, Bouncy? But I don't know how to do that. It's as easy as A, B, C. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. You know what, Dot? I want to do that. I want to make Jesus the leader of my life. You do? Well, you can pray with me right now and talk to God about it. Do you want to? Yeah, but I don't know what to say. If you want to make Jesus your leader, repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. 
I know that I have disobeyed you. I know that I've disobeyed you. I don't want to sin anymore. I don't want to sin anymore. Thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. Thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. I want Jesus to be the leader of my life. I want Jesus to be the leader of my life. Thank you for making me your friend. Thank you for making me your friend. Help me to live for you now. Help me to live for you now. I can pray this because of Jesus. I can pray this because of Jesus. Amen. Amen. demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let's do it again. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. God demonstrates his own love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Have you confessed your sins to God? Do you believe in him? If yes, Congratulations! You are now a child of God, saved and blessed. Praise Jesus for that! as a shepherd. I may look like a puny boy, but I have faced off against many deadly animals 
and help my side win the war. God gave me the strength to do all of those things. And the lesson here is, always be courageous because God will never leave you. I am Mary, the woman of Nazareth, the wife of Joseph and mother of Jesus. She conceived Jesus through the Holy Spirit. She accompanied Joseph to Bethlehem where Jesus was born. I am King Solomon. Solomon was born in Jerusalem. He is the second born child of David and was the third king of Israel. Solomon was the biblical king most famous for his wisdom. Angel Michael In the New Testament, Michael leads God's armies against Satan's forces. In the book of Revelation, where during the war in heaven, he defeats Satan. I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Ruth 1, verse 16 to 17. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Exodus 14, verse 14. Daniel went into his house and three times a day. He got down on his knees, prayed and gave thanks to his God. Daniel 6, verse 10. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me. Proverbs 12 verse 18 Reckless words can pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Exodus 14 verse 13 The Lord will fight for you and you shall forever hold your peace. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, Listening to the division of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, for those who believe in Him may not perish and shall have eternal life. Psalms 91 He who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the terror of His pestilence. He shall shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste in the day. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the weak. into a lion's den by King Darius. This person prayed to God three times a day. Yes, it was Daniel. Did you know that the King James Bible version contains 788,258 words, 31,102 verses, 1,189 chapters, and 66 books? Did you know that the fifth commandment is to honor your father and mother? 
What was the name of the sea where Jesus came as strong? Yes, it is the Sea of Galilee. Did you know the first bird that Noah sent out of the ark is a raven? Salamat kay Jesus. Salamat din sa inyo sa patuloy na panonood ng Children's Show. Yayain ng mga kaibigan, ang klase, magkita-kita tayo every Sunday. Oops, sandali, maipapagawa ako sa inyo. Assignment nyo, panoorin ito at gayahin ninyo. Hey, girl.